right, good morning, everybody. It's good to be here. Um, what an exciting day and a wonderful backdrop. So it's been a great week in West Virginia so far. In case you all missed it, on Tuesday, the governor announced some pretty exciting numbers. So in the first two months of this fiscal year, we're ahead 60. They can see me. I'll scoot around. So we're 65 million ahead of revenue projection for this year. And that's really incredible, especially if you think where we were just a couple of months ago. But that's not the only good news that's come out this week. We've also got sports betting, we've got coal, we've got hotel occupancy numbers. And today we're gonna add one more thing to that list of good news, and that's the start of a very successful golly season. So this year we're gonna do things a little bit different. This is the 50th anniversary of whitewater rafting in West Virginia. You've got a governor who is the biggest cheerleader of tourism the state has ever seen. So we're going to do things a little differently, and I'm going to turn it over to the governor to let him tell you exactly what we're up to. Well, thanks, Chelsea. First of all, this beautiful lady here does an incredible job. And uh, as leading our tourism team, you, we couldn't have anybody any better. That's all there is to it. She just, so give her an unbelievable round of applause. She's, she's doing it. You know, the tourism numbers are exploding. There's all, I don't need all that. You know, the, the, like I said before, the tourism numbers are great. They're, they're beyond belief good, to tell you the truth. They're approaching a 20% increase, which is just unthinkable, to tell you the truth, from where we've been. We're doing all kinds of improvement to our parks and our cabins and our facilities and, and, and all kinds of different places. But let me just, let me just go back to a driver before I get into the specifics about what we're doing here today. You know, the whole key to everything is just this. This is what you elected me for. But the whole key to everything is some way, somehow, we've got to have opportunity and jobs and economic prosperity within our state to be able to do all the other things. Now, you have to invest some money to make some money. Now, that was a very, very difficult concept to get across. Trust me. But we, we finally got everyone to buy in and say, we're... We're, you know, I've said it over and over, but you're not much of a frog if you're not proud of your own pond. And so, so as I say that, you know, it's starting to really catch on. You know, our legislature, give them credit. They really stepped up and they made a real commitment to invest real dollars in tourism. Now, at the end of the day, we need to just continue to invest more and more and more because we know every dollar that we invest, you bring in six to 13 times dollars. Now, the numbers are real. People are coming. But today is so special because I think today we're celebrating 50 years of whitewater rafting in West Virginia. Now, Think about this for a second. And this is true. You know, in its super infancy, I was in a dorm room at Marshall University. Now, we had already started, but we had only started a very, very few years. And I thought, really? Are we really going to pull this off? And it just kept growing and growing and and all of a sudden you've got hundreds of thousands of people coming to our great state and you've become an ambassador an ambassador of tourism in lots and lots and lots of ways now i would tell you first and foremost i'm really proud no question about our coal miners and all the other natural resources that we have in our state but right there is an incredible natural resource our water that's all there is to it it's incredible 
And what we need to do within West Virginia is just this. We need everything. We don't need just gas or just coal. We need high tech and we need higher ed and we need tourism like crazy and on and on and on and on. You know, look around. Just look around. Look around how beautiful this place is and we know it and we get it. We get it every day. And I absolutely have known it forever. Now I say this, but I'm just going to keep on saying the same thing. And that is just this. We're located within a rock's throw of two-thirds of the population of the country. We absolutely know how good our people are. They're faith-based, they're craftsmen, they're good people. They know the difference between right and wrong. We absolutely are blessed with natural resources beyond belief. Gas, coal, water, timber, you know, our people, on and on and on. Now, we have four unbelievable seasons, do we not? And absolutely, they none of them are too harsh. They're beautiful beyond belief. We know we live in paradise. We do. We do. But our people just had to leave to go get a job, and they just kept migrating and migrating and migrating, and the revenue just kept going down, 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 and nobody could really put the pieces together and say, Here's what we're going to do. Now, West Virginia today is a different landscape. A lot of people put in a lot of licks to make it happen. I'd like to take all the credit, but it's not fair. I have been the leader of the band, and I'll promise you I'd end up with the credit if things were going bad. You know, but, but the situation is just this. We're really rocking it. Now, you can say anything you want, but things are good. Things are really good. Not kind of good. They're really good. And they just keep getting better and better and better. Now, I'm going to tell you this. For those of us that know we live in prosperity or live in paradise, you can, you can put it down as sure as I know my name. There's going to be lots of others come. And they're going to see just how good we are. And they're going to join us here. And they're going to join us in this paradise that we know that's right here. So I'm telling you, I couldn't be more happier than to do just one thing that is really precious to me. The last thing I said is just this. We have four great seasons beyond belief, do we not? We do. The other thing that we're going to add today is we're going to add our fifth season. I'm going to be a governor that has five seasons. And today, we're going to dedicate our fifth season to this wonderful river. And we're going to dedicate a golly season that is going to be our fifth season. And we're going to promote it that way. Now, Chelsea... I mean, she, she does all kinds of greatness. Today, you know, I'm pretty good at marketing. And that's been my deal. Well, here's the whole thing. Today, I'm going to challenge all of y'all. I'm going to challenge any and every West Virginian to go out and do this. Invite somebody to come to our fifth season. Write them a postcard. I'll write one here before I leave and send it to somebody. We'll be advertising our fifth season on and on and on and on. As we continue to bring more and more and more emphasis to bring people to West Virginia, but we got to have you too. There's no point in us just pulling the rope without you. You know, now, so that's what we're going to do. Here's our little card, and it shows, it shows people not crashed yet. And so we're going to, you know, that's good, you know. But nevertheless, we challenge you to be safe and, in, and be what you've been already for 50 years. You know, what you've been is our ambassadors. You have. You've told our story. You've told it a thousand million times over. 
whether they be the people that are running the rafts, like a lot of these great guys are right here. Tim Barton never crashed me, you know, which was a blessing, you know. <laughs> but but I'm telling you, there's from from that to all the great people with our park service, and there's two people other than Lizzie and and Toby. Where's Toby? Toby, thank you so much for all you do and all your people. And Lizzie, thank you so much for all you do in every way. You do greatness and be proud. So the long and the short of it is, let's get it on. We got to absolutely, you got to get this campaign going. We got to get every campaign going because what we want is more and more and more people here. You know, this industry has been around for 50 years. We want it around for another 50 We've had our ups and downs, and we, we're probably, we probably dropped a little while, but now we need to build back up, and we need to build back up really strongly. So anyway, I, I, I wish you Godspeed in your safety and your, in your endeavors and all the fun in the world, and I absolutely wish you God's blessings in every way. It's an incredible, incredible another day in West Virginia. How could there be any place better? That's why I keep saying, I keep saying just this, you know, I'm a coach and now I'm going to quit. I'm a coach. What if I said to you just this, I said it over and over. What if I gave you this kind of ball team? What if I said to you, I said, we're going to create a place and I'm going to give it to Tim Barton. We're going to give it to him. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have this place and give it to him and what we're going to do is give with it all the great people of the state of West Virginia and how good they are just how good they are that's his ball team that's the first thing he's got or uh, or us the craftsmen the faith base the families the good people that's the first thing he has the second thing he has is this that we're going to bless it with natural resources beyond belief He's going to have all the natural resources. He's going to have them all. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bless it with five seasons, like we just said, that are out of sight. Out of sight. Now, he's got three ball players now. He's got LeBron, he's got Shaq, and he's got Jerry West. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put it in a place that's within a rock's throw of two-thirds of the people. Now, you tell me how in the world he can lose a game. And we have lost games and lost games and lost games. Not anymore. Not anymore. I'll give you Chelsea, too. And I'll give you everything I got on top of it. So, and he'll win every game now. That's all we had to do is convince the outside world just how good we really are. And here they come. So, that's it. I'd love to go with you. I really would. Thank you all so much.